so let's move on to the next question though i knocked on the door and called out his name he could not hear me he was listening music yes here this one is easy a proposition is missing there it's not listening music it's listening to music so be careful not to omit the preposition to in that okay listening to music so let's look at the next question the prisoner whose mercy petition the president had rejected last week was hung yesterday the error lies in part 4 can you tell me what the error is again the error is in this verb okay can you tell me what is the past participle of hang it is hang hanged hung right so hung is usually used if you if you are talking about clothes okay you can say you hung he hung his shirt but here what is the meaning here hung we have we are speaking about the execution of a person okay a person was hanged to death in that case you don't use hung you use hanged h a n g e d so here hanged is a word which you should use all right and that hanged is used only when we are speaking about execution otherwise as i told you you can use hung fine next question maya wants to quit her job because she hates her boss who finds fault at everything she does where is there here again in this question it's the error is related to the usage of preposition and it is in this part which is a preposition this part it is at so you do not find fault at something you find fault with something okay so here it is not at to make the sentence correct you have to write with instead of at next question how you earn money is more important than how much you earn sorry how many you earn right it's easy you know it's not how many when you speak about money you have to use much but you should remember that when you speak about money it's money is treated as what noun it is treated as an uncountable noun okay the way we speak about water you cannot say one water or two water similarly you cannot say one money or two money but when you are speaking about the units of money it is countable rupees is countable suppose i replace money with rupee then you can say how you earn rupees is more important than how many you earn it's correct so in case of rupee you can say many but when you speak about money you have to say much all right next finishing his breakfast he started working on the problem that had been awaiting disposal for a long time here the problem is with usage of tense how can we correct this yeah there are is in this part you can either say after finishing his breakfast he started working on the problem that had been awaiting disposal for a long time or you can say having finished his breakfast he started working on the problem etc etc okay but this one is wrong next A recent survey has found that people who work in IT companies are susceptible for stress related disorders. A 
again a wrong preposition has been used where is that wrong preposition can you find out here this word is the villain in the sentence okay it is not susceptible to it has to be it is not susceptible for it has to be susceptible to okay you are susceptible to something here the sentence means that the employees working in it companies have a chance to be they, they stand a strong chance of being affected by stress related disorders so we say they are susceptible to stress related disorders clear so let's move on to the next question how fast one solves arithmetical problems are not necessarily indicative of one's intelligence i hope you got the meaning of the sentence it's clear so one's speed in solving arithmetic problems has no correlation with one's intelligence but here where is the error here the error is in subject verb agreement can you tell me which part it is in exactly it is in part 2 how can i correct this very good how fast one one solves arithmetic problems it's not r it has to be is how fast one solves arithmetical problems is not necessarily indicative of one's intelligence okay so because this verb lies close to problems which is plural we'll always have a tendency to say r okay but that is not the case we should remember that arithmetical problems is not the subject so here we have to say is is not ne necessarily indicative of one's intelligence right next a vigilant vigorous and constructive opposition is a very life of the parliament form of government here there is an error in the usage of an adjective can you tell me which part it is in part 3 here can you tell me what is the adjectival form of parliament here we are intending to use an adjective here right so the adjectival form of parliament is parliamentary p a r l i a m e n t a r y so it's not parliament form of government it has to be parliamentary form of government next when he did not find his cook in the kitchen he asked his wife where had he gone so we'll find that this is a sentence in the past tense right it is it is in reported speech so here again there is a problem in the ordering of words in this part look here how can we correct this what is the error here the word order is wrong this should come here and this should come here right where he had gone when he did not find his cook in the kitchen he asked his wife where he had gone okay this is the right sentence all right
now let's look at the next question the principal of the college urged to the agitating students to shun violence and maintain peace on the campus once again it's an error with preposition and it's in part 2 how can we correct this we'll find that here there is an unnecessary preposition okay you urge someone you don't urge to someone so it has to be the principal of the college urged the agitating students to shun violence there is no need of this to so delete this to and you get the right answer next when I entered his room he was laying in a hammock and smoking a pipe where is there a Look at each word carefully. It's a short sentence, so you can easily find out where the error is. The error is here in part 3. And the word which is creating problem for us is this. Look here now. Okay, please look here. Are you familiar with these words? What is the meaning of this word? Continuous form of this word is laying and the continuous form of this will be lying. So what do you mean when you lay, when you say lay? To lay something means to put something down to put something in a position that is called lay and when you lie you lie down to sleep okay you lie down to sleep you are reclining okay this this word lie you also know it has a meaning something which is not true okay but in this context when you say lying it also means to lie down you lie down to sleep you rec you recline but when you say lay it only means you are you are putting something in a position okay you 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 lay lay down something on the table okay that's different so i hope you got the difference so here which word should we be using in this question we should be using lie he was not laying in a hammock he was lying in a hammock all right so the next question I hesitated when she offered me a cup of tea because right from my childhood I used to prefer coffee than tea coffee. very good it's not prefer coffee than tea but it has to be prefer coffee to tea you prefer one thing to another thing not than something it's to so you have to say I used to prefer coffee to tea okay next my little sister was shocked after the accident and she cried so helplessly that I decided to take her home with myself here the error is in the usage of a pronoun hmm? the problematic word here is this how should we correct it instead of saying myself you simply say me and this makes the sentence correct okay so please avoid unnecessary usage of myself sometimes people say 
myself is so and so when they introduce themselves myself is arun or myself is raju etc that is wrong say i am okay please avoid the unnecessary usage of myself next i reached the house exhausted and was very disappointed when i learned that my father has just left you know that the whole sentence is in past tense right if you observe the tense of the sentence you will easily know it is in past tense because this words this the very second word tells us that the sentence is in past tense so if you observe carefully you will find out that this word what business has this word here it should not be has it has to be had right has is never used along with past tense okay so we have to make it had now the sentence is right i reached the house exhausted and was very disappointed when i learned that my father had just left okay 